What's going on everyone? It's Cole Otterman coming back at you with another video. So today I just want to take a little bit of time and speak about the three rules that I follow that has tremendously and drastically improved my trading and these rules and strategies have allowed me to become way more profitable than before and I just want to share them with you guys because I think these are super super helpful and a lot of traders I think don't actually know some of these rules and strategies so today I'm just gonna be talking about them so the first one is not trading after 11 o'clock so I trade in the futures market or the stock market I mean they're kind of the same thing um, the S&P NASDAQ on most days at about like 10 30 11 the market will just dry up and there won't be that many high probability setups present in the market after about 11 o'clock, 10.30 ish. Of course, on some days, you can get a good trade in at 12 o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, but the chances of that happening are much, much lower after about 11 o'clock, again, on most days. So the first rule is not trading after 11 o'clock. That is my cutoff time. The second rule that I have is only trading a select group of names. At this point in time, I only trade the S&P futures and the NASDAQ futures. A couple years ago in 2021, 20, early 2022, and later bits of 2020, I would be trading so many different names, like all over the place. And it just became so hectic and I had such a hard time getting any sort of profitability because there was no correct data that I could look at on these names. I took a loss on BABA, then I took a win on NVIDIA, then I lost on Facebook, then I won on NEO. It's like there's so many different stocks, so many different names. And so it's really hard to gauge what setups are actually working and to correctly get the good data that you need to be able to just determine what's working, what's not, and everything that's important to track in your trading. And the third rule that I implement is only trading one strategy. And that strategy is very, very simple. It's just supply and demand. It's supply and demand and order flow is the only stuff that I look at. Demand zones, supply zones, and order flow using bookmap. Those are the only, only strategies that I use to trade and to look at the charts. There's a lot of different strategies that you can trade, uh, breakout trading, supply and demand, some ICT stuff, smart money concept, whatever. But to me, the only good way that I've been able to find an edge in the market is just trading su super, super simple supply and demand, along with some order flow like using bookmap that has become very very useful to me just being able to see how aggressive buyers are in zones or sellers are what's getting absorbed to me that is the easiest way to just look at the market and to read the charts so to recap my rules that I follow that have allowed me to tremendously improve my trading is to not trade after 11 o'clock unless there's an a plus 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 setup which is usually just a double bottom into a demand zone um, and preferably a liquidity grab before that that'd be great the second one is only trading a select few names by trading a select few names you're able to detect different patterns and the same patterns in those names and be able to exploit that edge over and over and over and you're able to get a lot more familiar with these names and seeing how the price moves, you're not guessing on why that happened. You know exactly why. And again, I only trade ES and NQ. I've tried to trade oil and gold, those futures, but unfortunately, I just they just move too slow for me. And ES and NQ are always moving. They always have a good setup. So that's why I trade ES and NQ. And then the third, of course, is only sticking to one strategy. And that for me is supply and demand along with some order flow reading on bookmap. Those combined have worked tremendously along with trading futures. It has just been great. And I guess right now I'll add a little bonus rule and that is you should really only be trading one asset class. I mean, there's bonds, futures, options, stocks, Forex, crypto. 
you really can't become a master at trading if you're trading six different asset classes, even two. Crypt I, I trade crypto and futures, and crypto, it, it moves so much different than the futures market or stock market would. And so many names, there's so many different ways to trade them. Like small caps move different than large caps. Large caps move different than futures. And to me, the simpler that you can keep trading, the better that you'll do. People just overcomplicate it all the time. And to me, just keeping it super simple, ES and NQ, supply and demand, order flow with book map, boom. That's simple. And keep it simple, works. So yeah guys, those are the rules that have helped me tremendously improve my trading and I hope that those can improve your trading as well. If you guys have any questions that you need answered, please comment them below. I would be more than happy to answer them. I might even make a video on them or just respond to them down below or on Instagram. You can just DM me on Instagram or just comment below on YouTube. And so yeah guys, please subscribe to my channel, like the video if you found any value and comment if you guys need any help and I'd be more than happy to help you guys. Take it easy, peace.